Hello, in this video we will give suggestions and examples that could help you solve geometry problems when geometry constructions are needed. To solve some geometry problems we don't need to modify the figure given or the figure obtained from the problem statement. But there are some problems where unless we already know the solution process or the relation between the input information and the unknown, we need to do geometric constructions that is, drawing additional geometric figures. If we have already tried to solve a geometry problem in its original version without success, then we might not be using the right geometric properties, or a geometric construction might be needed. Even if we could find alternative methods to solve a problem, doing geometric constructions could help us avoid or reduce algebraic or trigonometric calculations. A question we could have is, is there any information from the problem that would motivate us to do a geometric construction? Based on our experience, we should mention two possible cases. These cases are defined based on the information contained in the problem. The first case is when the problem contains a portion of a figure that we need to complete so that we can apply a geometric property that considers graphical and or numeric information given. Let's see an example. In this problem, we are asked to calculate x, given the lengths of the segments AB equal to 5, BC equal to 6, CD equal to 7, and the measures of angles ABC and CDA are equal to 90 degrees. Unless we already know a property in the figure that relates x with the length given, we may need to do a geometric construction. To solve a geometry problem, it always helps remembering geometric properties relevant to the problem. For this problem, knowing the lengths of segments AB and BC that form a 90 degree angle, it would be convenient to remember the Pythagorean theorem which relates the lengths of the three sides of any right triangle. Based on this property, for the right triangle shown, we can say that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. When you are solving a geometry problem, what do you think is convenient to do if you find two segments that form a 90 degree angle uh, whose lengths are known? Almost always, it is convenient to draw a segment of line to complete the right triangle because that will allow us to apply the Pythagorean theorem. Looking at the figure of the problem, we don't find any right triangle, but we see segments AB and BC forming a right angle and whose lengths are given. Observing that, we realize that the convenient geometric construction is Drawing segment AC because we would be forming the right triangle ABC where we could apply the Pythagorean theorem with which we would be considering part of the information given that is the length of AB, BC and the measure of angle ABC. The convenience of making this geometric construction is confirmed by the fact that drawing segment AC we would be also forming the right triangle ADC, where we can apply the Pythagorean theorem and relate X with another part of the information given, that is the length of CD and the measure of angle ADC, and the length of AC, already included in the relation obtained from the application of the Pythagorean theorem in the right triangle ABC. Okay. Once we draw segment AC, applying the Pythagorean theorem in the right triangle ABC, we have that AC squared is equal to 5 squared plus 6 squared. Applying the same theorem in the right triangle ADC, we get that AC squared is equal to 7 squared plus X squared. From both relations, we get that X squared plus 7 squared is equal to 5 squared plus 6 squared. Solving for x, we obtain the answer. x is equal to 2 times square root of 3. The second case is when the problem contains a figure and information for which there is a specific recommended geometric construction. 
Let's see an example. From the figure shown, we have to calculate the length x. Initially, we don't know the value of x unless we have already solved the problem. To solve this problem, because there is a midpoint being part of the graphical information given, we should remember properties related to the mid-segment of a triangle. The mid-segment is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. That segment is always parallel to the third side and its length is half the length of the third side. To take advantage of those properties, whenever we have a problem in which A, the middle point of a side is part of the problem, in most cases it is because that middle point is also one end of a segment, and B, the length of another side is known, or somehow related to other length of the problem, it is recommended to draw the mid-segment parallel to the side whose length is known or related in the problem. This would allow us to take advantage of the properties of the mid-segment, that is, it is parallel to the third side and its length is half the length of the third side. Going back to our problem, we see that the midpoint M of the side AB is somehow part of the graphical information given because there is another segment, uh, segment MD in this problem, containing that point. We also see that the length of side AC is given. Then, remembering the recommendation, we draw the mid-segment MN. Then, that mid-segment MN is parallel to the side AC, that is, the measures of angles M, N, D and A, C, B are equal. And M, N is equal to one half of A, C, then it is five. Because the triangle M, N, D has two internal angles with the same measure, we can say that the triangle is isosceles. Then X is five, which is the answer to our problem. We have presented two cases that could help us solve geometry problems when geometrical constructions are needed. Sometimes solving a geometry problem, you would see that these two cases are just one because you could be, for instance, completing a figure to apply a geometry property, but that can also be a recommended step in a given figure. We have presented uh, the two cases so you can use the one you see more convenient as a guide to start solving a geometry problem. Although for simplicity's sake we have presented two short examples, the rational thinking to start doing geometrical constructions may be similar on more complex problems. For solutions of other problems in geometry or other pre-university or university topics, visit 4 Thank you for watching this video. Until next time.